Hi folks, this is all the fruit. I'm in the Botanic Garden of Lisbon in Portugal, where they have a couple of beautiful, huge Araucaria heterophylla trees. One, two, three, four. A whole group of those. And Araucaria heterophylla is one of those Araucarias where I've never managed to get edible seeds. They are quite popular in subtropical frost-free or probably also frost poor parts of the world. Here as you see they have four of them growing. They do produce cones a lot. You find scales pretty much under every tree. Usually you don't find cones because it's an exception for the cones to fall down in one piece. Usually those are underripe. Usually ripe cones will uh, disintegrate into single scales on the tree. I mean, yeah, this is the this is the reason they have those wings. I guess only in very strong storms will they fly further than a couple meters, but still, it makes more sense to disintegrate on the tree than to fall down in one big cone. Well, like all other Araucaria species, Heterophylla is supposed to be edible, however, I've never ever seen edible Nuts on this one. Huh. And I think right now this thing is also completely solid. There is no seat inside. I've already opened similar similar Araucaria seats and basically there's almost nothing inside. Sometimes they are empty canals inside filled with air. Sometimes there is a tiny piece of a seat. Often they are filled with this sap here, with this raisin. Strange. Those things are supposed to be edible, but they are not. So please tell me, why do I never find edible Araucaria heterophylla? I mean, here in the same garden I found totally edible big Bunya Bunya seeds, Araucaria bitweedi. The seeds were 10 times the size of the Araucaria heterophylla seeds and were totally edible and there was just one Bunya Bunya. So if this can self-pollinate, why can't those get pollinated and have edible seeds? Please tell me, folks. I'm really curious. <coughs> Apart from that, of course, stay tuned for a lot more fruit videos from the beautiful and fruit-rich city of Lisbon. And of course, don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe.